Hey there, brother. I got your email as well. You wanted my advice on if you should get any uh, sigillic tattooing, and if and if so, what kind? I know you were thinking about. Uh, you said you wanted to get Kazael's personal sigil uh, tattooed on you. I would recommend starting with something a little less extreme than that because if you haven't fostered your personal relationship with that specific spirit it's it's not really going to serve you all that well for like for example i have gotten a what's known as a discipleship tattoo dedicated to my patron on my right arm this is this is a form of sigillic pact and this allows us to communicate easier and for me to summon her easier to see her easier without going through uh, bouts of cer ceremonial magic but the way i see it when it comes to uh resonance tattooing I personally will treat my body like a temple. I will only get things that I would consider to be practical or that would aid in my ascent. You know, many people get tattoos so they can show them off and um, show them to everyone as well. But each, everything, on, I like for everything on my vessel to serve a specific purpose, to serve me such as one of the sigils that I got that is a uh, part Veve. It is designed for protection and reflection with a protection to uh, backfeed vampirism. So it's parasitic in nature. It takes a lot of energy and pulls from those who attempt to vampirize me. I got this when I had actually first started making you know, YouTube videos. Because, you know, there's no shortage of, you know, drama mongers. It comes with, you know, the territory of speaking about the things that we do, you know, publicly. But start with something like that. Create your own personal um, weapons, you know, defenses. You have to be strategic about everything you get. I think that would be um, ideal rather than getting, you know... Uh, patron or patroness's seal, you know, tattooed on you. And even then, when you do get this, there are a lot of people, especially in the West here, they will get the tattoo and assume the magic is, is all done. Every, every resonance tattoo that I've ever gotten, until it heals, remember it's an open wound, it is a portal, it is a portal of blood. When I get one, I will personally chant over it for weeks until it completely heals, until it is no longer peeling, until it is no longer um, an open wound. This way, I can pour as much as my intent over it, laying hands on the, the tattoo I've gotten. Such as, like, I actually have elder seals that were passed down from the uh, Black Grimoire, you know, to AGM to AGM, you know, from the elders. Those are the ones that allow us to do specific things, you know, that <laughs> we aren't supposed to do here. There's also one... In, you can also seek out certain entities to give you resonance seals for tattooing as well. There's actually one that I have on my left hand that is designed for amplification and breaking the protections of my enemies. All I have to do is really uh, focus on it. But even that took a lot of work and even more so to earn it. Like, I, I had been seeing people get the uh, the Tower of Pain Grand Seal as well without really going through 
any of the things required. You have to, it has, it has a hidden pact within it to where you have to feed it pain. You have to know pain that it is the cost. You know, there's, there's nothing for free in order to use that said seal. I got mine um, earlier this year and I've been in the cabal for for many many years working with the Tower of Pain so at that point I actually felt that you know it was that time I even consulted with those spirits the Tazia, the Azeket, you know the Demons of Pain before acquiring that seal and even then I fed it all types of pain it will feed on anything it will feed on any anxiety uh, anger any form of pain that you can imagine and you want to think of this as like a quasi dimension to where everything gets stored until you use it because I know you're talking about getting this one as well but definitely definitely uh, call up uh, the Tower of Pain entities before getting that seal because there's a lot of things people don't act, don't know about it in that regard it, it has to be earned if you don't earn it pain will be prevalent in your life until you truly understand it until you learn to enjoy it until you learn to utilize it but yeah the resonance tattooing it's it's good to use you know when you're when you're first uh when you're first learning certain things <laughs> remember you have a finite amount of flesh and every seal that you get sure we have laser removal and all kinds of things today but when you get a resonance tattoo it is going to seal itself within your spirit it's going to be etched into your aura it's going to be etched into your subtle bodies i even have things you know dedicated to um evocation um certain i would say what can i actually you know talk about that isn't too extreme i would say there are certain seals of transcendence that I actually have to allow me to do some of the things I do. One I actually have is a particular gate key as well. It's for crossing the dimensions. And um, some people get certain seals for astral projection, but they have to be able to know how to create and truly dissect a seal. It's easy to create a personal seal and charge it with a specific intent, but you have to know the layout of a seal. And then the part of your body that you put it on is also important as well. If you're going for um, rights of astral projection, I had just led another imperator to go and get an augmented form of the ghost walking seal and ghost walking is a form of of projection that the dead use it's on a frequency to where you can still interact with things here in this world so we had actually gotten that on on her mid to lower back because it's connected to that serpent, because it's connected to that silver cord, that subtle body. When you're able to master such a thing, it becomes easy to pull your energies into that specific seal and fully utilize it. But let me know what seals you're planning on getting you know, before you get it so that you aren't going through this, uh, you know, process of mulling it over and, you know, eventually just dropping the idea altogether. 
but there are some things um, that I have sent you. You know, like I said, you have a finite amount of flesh, you know, just be careful on what you get. And you know, if I would say do pretty much do what I've done, just think strategic. What will you really truly need? you know, on your body to use certain sorcery. You know, a lot of mine have to do with uh, using non-tool sorcery. Because eventually, once you get to a high enough state, you realize that magic is innate. And eventually, you will only use certain tools when you absolutely need to. But I look forward to um, your next update as well. Blessings, brother.